the question is first line of the question is a and b are partners in pa are in partnership sharing profits and losses in proportion of 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 respectively the last sent sentence tells us prepare necessary ledger accounts in the books of the firm relating to the above arrangement and submit the opening balance sheet of the new firm working notes note 1 when there is no balance sheet given in the question we have to prepare a memorandum balance sheet balance sheet as at 31st march 2017 this is the date when a prototype balance sheet or memorandum balance sheet will be prepared after drawing the proper format we'll start from the asset side the information are given to us in the first passage that is cash rupees 1000 sundry debtors rupees 15000 stock rupees 22000 plant and machinery rupees 4000 and total of asset side is rupees 40000 whereas in case of liabilities ke sundry creditors rupees 2000 bank overdraft rupees 15000 capital accounts that is for a rupees 15000 b rupees 10000 total is rupees 25000 and the totaling of the liability side is rupees 42000 now note one calculation of new ratio and sacrificing ratio old ratio of a is to b 2 is to 1 new ratio of a is to b is to c given in the question 2 is to 1 is to 1 Sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio. A sacrifice old share minus new share. Two by three minus two by four. That is equal to LCM twelve eight minus six. That is two by twelve. B sacrifice that is one by three minus one by four. That is equal to LCM twelve four minus three. That is equal to one by twelve. Therefore, the sacrificing ratio of a is to b is equal to two is to one. Note two: adjustment of a capital. Total capital of the new firm, according to new partner or C's capital contribution, is equal to rupees ten thousand multiplied by four upon one. That is forty thousand. And this will be distributed in among a, b, c in the ratio of two is to one is to one, which is equal to Rupees forty thousand multiplied by two by four a, two by four for a, one by four for b, and one by four for c. That will be rupees twenty thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. Then your revaluation account, first one being to plant and machinery. Reduction is rupees four hundred. Decrease in value is a loss to the farm, hence debited to revaluation account. By stock rupees two nine four zero increase in asset or stock is a profit for the farm hence credited to real revaluation account. To provision for doubtful debts is rupees five hundred being increase in liability debited to revaluation account. Then total is credit side two nine four zero take it to the debit side find out the gap that is two zero four zero, which is the profit to. Capital accounts revaluation profit transferred in old ratio of A is to B that is equal to two is to one. For A that is rupees two zero four zero multiplied by two by three that is rupees one three six zero. For B that is rupees two zero four zero multiplied by one by three that is rupees six hundred eighty. Now partners capital accounts that is by balance brought down for A rupees fifteen thousand and B rupees. Ten thousand for A rupees fifteen thousand and B rupees ten thousand. Then by cash account capital brought in by C and by premium for goodwill three thousand in the ratio of sacrifice two is to one. By revaluation account profit on revaluation that is for A one three six zero rupees for B six hundred eighty rupees. Now total the credit side take it to the debit side find out the balance carried down take it to the Make two capital accounts for capital adjustment. The second account will be by balance brought down. In all these one, two, three, four, the amount will be same. For A rupees eighteen thousand three sixty, for B eleven thousand six eighty, for C ten thousand. And balance carried down we have already found out. You can see this. 
adjustment of a capital, total capital of the new firm according to new partner C's capital contribution that is rupees 10,000 for one fourth, hence 4 upon 1 reverse is 40,000. Now A's new capital is rupees 40,000 multiplied by 2 by 4 that is rupees 20,000. B's new capital is rupees 40,000 multiplied by 1 by 4 that is rupees 10,000. C's new capital is rupees 40,000 multiplied by 1 by 4 that is rupees 10,000. Hence balance carried down rupees 20,000, rupees 10,000, rupees 10,000. Now it will be 2 cash by cash. Now first of all 20,000 in case of A's totaling in debit side is higher. Take it to the credit side find out the gap that is rupees by cash account 1640. This will be added with the cash in the balance sheet's asset side. And in case of B, the credit side is higher, 11,680, take it to the debit side and find out the difference, two cash, 1680 rupees. And for C, both the sides are tied. Now your balance sheet, as at 31st March 2017, the asset side cash, rupees 13,960, by cash will be added, two cash will be deducted. Then sundry debtors rupees 15,000. Less new provision for doubtful debts rupees 500 that is 14,500. Then stock new revised value 24,940. Then plant and machinery rupees 3600, 400 less 10% reduced. Then totaling is rupees 57,000. In the liability side we have sundry creditors same old figure 2000. Bank overdraft same old figure 15,000. Then capital accounts new values that is 20, 10, 10 that is A's capital rupees 20,000, B's capital rupees 10,000, C's capital rupees 10,000, total amounted to 40,000 and totaling is rupees 57,000. This is the final answer.